this is actually how, you know, so I sat next to Russell Brunson, right, for about 18 months um, in the same room. And this is actually how we would do it, where we would sit down and it usually, they always started like this. You could tell this is a big stroke of inspiration from either one whenever it happened. We'd go, whoa! And then <laughs> there'd be this huge, this huge outlash of energy. Oh my gosh! And we'd run to a whiteboard, usually with no shoes on, lots of loud music playing, and we'd try and get in this creative zone. We'd run to the whiteboard and we'd write the name of the, the main thing. Everyone knows what the main thing is that they sell, right? They have a product or a service, that's your thing. And, we, and we'd write that at the top. But then what we would do is we said, okay, when they buy this, what if we also gave them, oh my gosh, what if they flew out and they stayed in our house for three days? Yeah, write that. Oh man, what if we went, my wife could make them pizza. Yeah, okay, what? And like, we'd go to the crazy zone and it, totally unrealistic zone out of creativity. Um, but then obviously we had, we could help them with this phone. We could do this, we could do this. And we'd make this huge list of possible things that we could add on to the main product or service. And when we kind of left the crazy zone, we'd go back and go, okay, my wife probably won't make a pizza. All right, they're probably not gonna stay in my house for three days. You know, we go back, but what we end up having at the end is something that is unique in the marketplace that is truly like attractive and sexy. Um, so you're no longer selling just this product or service, you're selling this bundle. And because of that, you are way more attractive than all these other people that are out selling whatever they sell. It doesn't matter what you sell. Um, and I think that's at a really easy level, really base level. That's a really cool way to do it. If you're like, I have no idea how to make an offer, Steve. I have no idea how to put those together. Go to the crazy zone a little bit. Then you work backwards of what's realistic and what is, and, and then you package that together and sell that. That actually keeps you way ahead of all your competitors because they're trying to act professional. They're trying to do what they, you know, the things that they're trying to put their shirt in town and put starch in their shirts and, and realize that, you know, anyway, by you just being different, you don't even necessarily need to be better. Just be a little bit different and, uh, and be, look new and exciting. It, that is one of the easiest key ticket ways of just jumping right back in. Yeah. All right, sweet. Well, um, a lot of the people that might be watching this now um, might be thinking that their, their offer is already great and there's nothing more they can do with it. But you're here to say, all right, we can improve it. We can make it a little bit better. How can we, what, what's the kind of the first few steps we need to take to uh, Im improve uh, that uh, offer creation? Sure. Um, one of the first things, and I, we, you know, I do this with a lot of my students too, is we go, <laughs> I usually have them raise their hand and I say, I, they say, I repeat after me and say their name, say their name, we'll no longer sell products. And they're always like, what? Oh my gosh, I will no longer sell services. But what? The point is to take your product or your service and graduate it and evolve it into an offer. And so if, one of the easiest ways that you're like, hey, I have an offer, I've got, um, I've got, uh, I've got something out there already, that, that's great. What we do though is we have people go through, their doesn't matter if you're you know, new in business or you're existing, go survey your people and ask them what it is that they're struggling with. And then this is kind of where the, the ninjury and your ability to be a, a marketer comes in. It's after you ask all these people what it is that they've been struggling with, you gotta go back and you gotta start asking yourself the, this, this question basically. What did this person need to be believing in order to have said what they said to me? And so you start going through and you start ranking and you'll start figuring out what like kind of the big beliefs are of your market, of the people actually selling to. And what's funny is that you as the expert of your own thing will look at some of the things and you're like, they believe that? But that's not true at all. And you'll go back and you start thinking, I gotta break that belief. I gotta kill that, that's a false belief. And, uh, and from that point on, if, if, to really accelerate how good your, your offers are is based on your ability to tell story. Because we all, all of our beliefs, everything that we have uh, inside of our head, the way we move, the way we breathe, the, everything in our life is based around story, stories that we're telling ourselves. Tony Robbins even talks about that. You want to change your life? Just change the story you're telling yourself in your head. It'll change your life. It's the same thing for the way your customers are treating your market and your product and your, your offer, every, the way they behave. And so if you, your ability to create offers I mean, it lies solely in your ability to understand what the beliefs are inside the market is, understand which ones you know are wrong, and then your ability to tell a story to change them so that they believe new things, and, and that, that'll set you apart so fast.